All right, guys, so a question I got in chat the other day was other than buying pullbacks, you know, using the buy zone pullback technique we teach in our free webinars, um, other than that, because it's my favorite setup, what's your next favorite setup? And this is a great example of it, SAVA from today, but there's no really name to put to it, right? It's not like a moving average crossover or a snapback reversal. Um, it just would have way too long of a name, right? The only way I could describe it is, um, I guess you call it an inflection point entry with stat catalysts above, right? Um, and I'll show you why. So this is Saba's opening five minute candle today. Popped up and sort of did this little cup and handle. And right here, it hit three or four times, it hit uh, 28.50. The early high was, I think, 28.83. Let me double check. 28.85. Okay, so we know the high of day is 28.85. Um, Friday's high is 29.50. So they're all stacked. See those lines? They're, they're, I call those stacked catalysts. They're all like one right after another. I don't view them as resistance. I view them as, well, if broken, a catalyst for a higher move. So this is my post in chat. Sava over 2850 has high of day and Friday's high stacked above. So that's that uh, 2885 and uh, 2950. One I left out, but I put a line there. A lot of people consider the previous day's close, if you get through that, a red to green. The way we define red to green in chat is back through the open, right? Back to its own open price, uh, which didn't apply here. So you also had the red to green. So you had the half number inflection point, 28.50, high of day break, red to green meaning through Friday's high or through Friday's close and then Friday's high, all stacked very close above on a stock that has big short interest and is the strongest stock in the whole world on Friday. So that's why I even had it on watch. And you can see what happened from the 28.50 break um, actually, as I'm talking to you right now, it hit 3434. I just took a screenshot a little bit ago. Still going, never underwater. Um, and it's just a half number inflection point with stat catalysts above. And part of the uh, important part of the equation is the catalysts are close, right? They're very, they're stacked very close above the trigger price. So didn't have to go real far to stop knocking, start knocking down dominoes. I hope that makes sense. Hit me up if you have any questions.